Today we're diving into the intriguing realm of Sigma male dads and why some believe they can be particularly challenging. But before we unpack the details, what characteristics define a Sigma male? How might these traits impact parenting? And why are some considering them potentially dangerous? Join us as we explore these questions and dissect the concept of Sigma male dads in today's discussion. Being a father involves many different aspects a great deal of responsibility and a strong emotional bond with the welfare of a child. The notion that child safety is exclusively the father's responsibility can be overbearing and ignore the nuances of family relationships, societal systems and other influences. Rather than putting the responsibility entirely on one person, let's concentrate on creating a network of support and recognizing shared accountability. Shared responsibility is a part of this. Realizing that institutions, communities, parents and caregivers all have a part to play in keeping kids safe. It's crucial to collaborate and look for options when a youngster needs assistance. For their child's safety to be guaranteed, fathers should make an effort to be proactive, involved and present. This entails having honest conversations, educating people about potential risks and fostering a caring and secure workplace. It's crucial to recognize that despite best attempts, bad things can still happen. Situations beyond an individual's control may be caused by unforeseen events, systematic problems and outside influences. Seeking assistance is essential if a father feels unable to defend their child because of their limits or outside difficulties. Speak with dependable family members, mental health specialists or child protective agencies to get the tools and support you need to get through trying times. Every circumstance is different. Individual responsibility alone or in combination with other factors can be detrimental and counterproductive. To protect a child, fatherhood entails sharing accountability and working together with others. Seeking help is a sign of strength and demonstrate commitment to a child's well-being. We became aware of something after speaking with convicted child predator Jack Reynolds. Or on the, on the gym floor, you know, I would make sure which ones I wanted to molest. I would give them special attention, congratulate them, talk to them when I know that I would never be allowed to talk to anybody else. Let's concentrate on this interview's positive takeaway. That is, having a strong father figure in the home helps discourage child predators. This is an explanation of the significance of this message for fathers. You have a vital role to play. Creating a safe and secure environment for your child depends on your involvement and presence in their lives. Strong father figures have been linked to open communication, a sense of support and assertiveness in potentially dangerous situations in children. They may become less susceptible to predators' manipulation and grooming as a result. Stay informed and active. Establish a solid trustworthy relationship with your kids by spending quality time together and paying attention to their worries. Let them know they can come to you with anything, no matter how trivial or awkward it may appear, and encourage them to communicate openly. Be vigilant and mindful. Learn about the risk and safety measures for children. Discuss with your kids how to spot dangerous situations. Set appropriate boundaries with adults and stay safe online. Allow them to say no if anything makes them uncomfortable and encourage them to follow their instincts. Predators are cunning creatures and they know that you are a threat not just because of your capability but also because of your proximity. They understand that when you're present and actively involved in your children's lives, you become a formidable force to reckon with. Now we know what you're thinking. Why would my kids need me to be a threat? That doesn't sound very comforting. But fear not, your children need to know that you're a threat, not to them, but on their behalf. You see, as a parent, it's your duty to protect and advocate for your little ones. When your daughters understand that you're there for them as their loving and protective father figure, they gain confidence and reassurance. They feel safe knowing that if anyone tries to harm or exploit them, they have their very own superhero ready to swoop in and defend them. Discuss child safety with other parents, educators, and other adults you can trust and cooperate to establish a watchful atmosphere where kids feel secure and protected. Recall that prevention is essential. Although no single aspect can assure total protection, the likelihood of your child being targeted by a predator is much decreased when a father figure is involved and powerful. You can foster a secure and nurturing atmosphere where your kids can flourish by emphasizing open communication, developing trust and exercising proactive awareness. It's critical to keep in mind that each circumstance is different and that there isn't a universally applicable remedy. Nonetheless, dads can make a huge difference in their children's safety and the safety of everyone in the world by being proactive, involved and present. Creating a safe and secure environment for your child depends heavily on your involvement and presence in their life. 
strong father figures have been linked to open communication, a sense of support and assertiveness in potentially dangerous situations in children. They may become less susceptible to predators, manipulation and grooming as a result. Establish a solid, trustworthy relationship with your kids by spending quality time together and paying attention to their worries. Promote open communication and let them know they can talk to you about anything, regardless of how trivial or awkward it may seem. Learn about the risk and safety measures for children. Discuss with your kids how to spot dangerous situations. Imagine not being able to do something when someone you care about was harmed. To what extent would you punish yourself? There isn't a single right response because every scenario is different. The most crucial thing is to take all feasible measures, keeping your child's safety and well-being in mind. Blame on oneself, particularly when it's motivated by what-ifs might backfire. Make an effort to talk to your kid honestly, learn from the experience, and work together to develop resilience and trust. True strength is a combination of emotional intelligence, problem-solving abilities, and the willingness to ask for assistance when required. In addition to a physical presence, it takes a solid bond and open communication between fathers and sons to go through difficult times together. There is a lot of discussion and disagreement over the definition of toxic masculinity. It is true that conventional ideas of masculinity have historically included characteristics like physical strength, aggressiveness, and even the ability to use violence. These ideas still exist in some cultures today. These characteristics were frequently considered essential for males to carry out their protective and providing roles. On the other hand, contemporary discourse criticizes how overemphasizing certain characteristics can be detrimental. Merely defining masculinity only on the possibility of violence is constrictive and leaves out other crucial characteristics like empathy, emotional intelligence, and constructive communication. It is wrong to associate all men with violence, since this feeds negative preconceptions that incite prejudice and discrimination. Young males who are solely exposed to this restrictive definition may feel pressure to fit in, which could result in aggressive behavior, negative coping strategies, and trouble expressing other emotions. Just concentrating on capacity and capability misses the important roles that environment and decision play. If someone is physically capable of using violence, that doesn't mean they should. Important components of responsible masculinity include selecting peaceful solutions, exercising emotional control, and looking for constructive ways to express oneself. Moreover, violence is a complex problem in and of itself. It is important to carefully analyze the concept of good and the potential implications of violence. Even though some people may argue that it can be employed for good in self-defense or protecting others, glorifying violence as inherently manly has the potential to desensitize people to its detrimental effects and sustain destructive cycles. Through critical analysis of ideas such as toxic masculinity and the development of a more nuanced understanding of healthy masculinity, we may build a more just and inclusive society in which all individuals are empowered to express themselves in an authentic and responsible manner. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to stay connected with our journey through the world of innovation. Feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of technology and innovation.